Good morning ladies and gentlemen this is the new W206 C class and I'm going to give you a quick walk around of the vehicle before we set out to drive it so in terms of the design yes it is known to be the baby S class and that design you will obviously see right here in terms of the way the headlights are designed in terms of the way the tail lights are designed in the overall shape it does mimic the S class in quite a few ways so this right here is the C300D and there are three variants that Mercedes-Benz India will offer in the country there is the C200 petrol the C220D and the C300D so the exterior styling has a few key changes the C300D as before is only available in the AMG line which means that it gets some sporty bits. So the design of the headlights, tail lights largely remains the same. But if you look at the details, well, that is where you will notice the changes. So let's begin with the front end. Don't mind the shadows there. It's early in the morning and I can't move this car around right now. But anyway, so the main change is in the grill. The grill on the C-Class that you see there, it has vertical slats whereas this one has an evolution of the diamond grill and instead of the little diamonds now you have little three pointed stars and they're finished in a gloss shiny finish so it looks quite bling when light falls on it but this horizontal slat and that big mercedes benz logo the three pointed star that remains common again amg line so you get these sportier bumpers they have slightly different detailing compared to the regular petrol or the C220D and the 300D also gets the digital lights which means this little unit has 1.3 million pixels in it. I think I got the number right hopefully but yeah that's the digital light you can see the logo right there digital light and this one glows so the DRL signature is this light plus this light that's how you can easily identify the C300 if you can't really notice the rest of it on the regular C200 or the C220D this bit has a chrome lining instead so the digital signature oh sorry the DRL signature is only the LED brow on top you also get different wheels 18 inches on this like the previous C300 AMG line you have this chunky black panel here you'll also see the AMG detailing right there and these are 18 inches the c200 or the 220 will get 17 inches no change to the detailing of the tail lights but of course you will get this badging right here the c300d badging the change however is in the bumper the shape of the exhaust ports is different well these are actually not exhaust ports the exhaust is underneath what you do get is this ford diffuser right here because sporty styling since we are at the rear let me also show you the boot there's a small suitcase there small bags here a bottle i don't know why it's there but you have a space saver the emergency kit has been given that's the cover if i'm not wrong below this is the toolkit and you also get the mercedes-benz basket but that's below that so i'm not going to open it this is where the safety triangle is and it's mechanically operated not electronically operated okay sorry so that's that and speaking of fake vents one more right here anyway so let's now get into the cabin so that's the key we have seen this design of the mercedes-benz key on all new cars uh, the eqc or the eq line of cars get this in white this is black here and quite heavy quite heavy quite heavy on the pocket anyway so let's begin right here you get a uh, digital info in, uh, instrumentation you get this huge infotainment screen this is inspired from the s-class of course uh, what you don't get from the s-class are the ac vents uh, the s-class has those uh, slightly more squared off ac vents and sleeker these are different in design 
let me know which design you prefer the s class or this and you get five of those three here two on either sides but of course the main thing to talk about is the screen it's an 11.1 inch screen if i'm not wrong like i said not good with numbers but it's optional you get a smaller screen as well but the orientation the layout everything remains the same that's also a portrait screen but you can opt for a smaller screen if you want uh, maybe not with the C300D, uh, I think the 300D only comes with the larger screen, but with the C200 or the 220, I think you will be able to spec it up uh, to a larger screen like this or just settle for the smaller screen. Uh, what the C200 or the C220 also get is a different inlay here. If you were to look closely, this is not a carbon fiber pattern. These are uh, these look like metal fibers inside. That's the kind of pattern that they've created. Uh, and on the C200 or the C220, uh, you get a very uh, yacht-like pattern, something like what we've seen in the Maybach. So you get uh, the brown wood and very slim aluminum lines in it. Uh, so that creates that yacht-inspired uh, look. Anyway, so let's talk about the screen first because there is a lot to talk about it right here. Let's go into home, navigation, phone, radio. I'm not going to get into that. They are all self-explanatory. Media is where I want to get into. So I'm going to get right here because this car, the C300, gets the personal sound profile and it gets the 3D sound. So you will see the Burmester audio. You will see the speakers right here. And if you look at the rear door, you will also see a speaker right there so it creates that 3d surround sound not 4d sound where the speakers were also there in the seat we saw that on the s-class that you don't get here but what's interesting is you can create your own personal sound profile go into the settings and you will see that i can go into reconfigure you will see the amount of detail it goes into. I hope this angle is better. So here it wants me to set my personal comfort volume. What volume am I comfortable with? This loudness, slightly lesser. This is fine, I think. Now, personal comfort volume again, the second preference. So it will understand, do I like mids and highs or mids and lows? I think that is what it's trying to figure from here in terms of the volume, not in terms of equalization. Here, it will choose the kind of balance that I prefer. So I'm going to leave it slightly more driver oriented for now. Oh, and speaking of driver orientation, the screen is also for the first time, for the first time in all these generations of the C-Class, for the first time, the infotainment is actually tilted towards the driver. So again, what, what uh, volume do you find gentle? That is what it wants me to set. So I think this is gentle enough. Set a sound that you find well balanced. Here I'm going to leave it in the center. Now here you can see the drum. It's increased the number of instruments in the sound. And how do I like the sound of instruments? Do I want them to be clearer, louder, slightly, slightly louder? I will select that. I like to hear the instruments a little bit more. And here you can select what kind of uh, you know balance you want overall for the sounds and I'm going to leave it in the center so bass intensive brilliant language I'm going to leave it in the center here this is sounding good to me right now now here I can set the level of surround I want and believe me it makes a lot of difference it immediately makes a noticeable difference and what is the level of 3d or three-dimensional sound space that I want to create And then overall, what kind of base characteristics, not overall, what kind of base characteristics I want. Neutral, gentle, warm, or punchy. I think I'm going to leave it in neutral. The punchy is a bit too punchy. Maybe the mic is not picking up the differences, but you can feel the differences when you're in the cabin. And then that's it. So I can then make, these are, this is the original playback. And this is what I've said now and what I've said now sounds good to me so this is individual individualization to a different level it's not just the material choices or the color choices it's also the sound choices that you can make and the brilliant bit is this is tied in with your profile I'm gonna hit finish so that the music stops but when I say your profile essentially what I'm saying is 
there are different profiles so if i hit this profile no profile active at the moment but you can set different profiles you your wife your husband your spouse whatever whoever is watching this uh, you know whatever you prefer uh, you can set different profiles you know and that's a very good thing so here with the profiles uh, you know you can have your ambient lighting settings your sound settings uh, your seating settings everything is saved in one go so yes you have memory seating but here it's more than just seating right it's the sound the ambient lighting like i said different settings in the car you can select all of that set it as your profile and then once you enter the car simply you know use this little switch it's a fingerprint reader and it will select your profile the moment it reads uh, you know the relevant fingerprint and your profile is selected all your settings are made right there and i think uh, you know this is the power of going digital so that's media apps essentially gets you mercedes me weather browser etc uh, in the comfort you will see seat kinetics we've seen this in some of the other cars e class s class etc uh, where this is not a massaging function but what it will do is the moment you activate it it is going to make very minute changes to the seating geometry uh, it will not really change your driving position but it will make minute changes to the seating geometry so that your back muscles are not stressed over long distances there are these minute changes which will make sure that the muscles don't get stiff at the end of it they remain a little bit more relaxed relatively more relaxed than a car that doesn't have this function and you can also you know uh, select uh, whether you want it to make changes only to the backrest or also to the seat surface and then you can uh, select the program length depending on how long you're going to drive 16 32 96 so that's the level of detail that you can go into and this is a very good function to have i've said that in the past as well for other mercedes benz cars and i'm glad that the c class also gets it you can also just enter your height i'm going to set it to 58 okay i had set it to 58 previously i think so let's say 6 feet and i'll say start positioning so it's going to make changes to my seat it's also going to make some changes to the steering they were very minute i'm not sure if the camera picked it up but it's going to give me the ideal seating position though i don't really like this much i am going to make minute adjustments for myself oh this is capacitive it's not going to move it's capacitive it it senses what is the change that you want to make but this doesn't physically move it just controls the seat and its capacitive it's coming from the s class again and right down here you again have touch sensitive buttons and because we are talking about that you have touch sensitive buttons here as well uh you get this two spoke layout uh you know two horizontal spokes on the c200 or the c220 it's a regular steering wheel you don't even get this flat bottom profile uh that we've seen uh on this car So this obviously is the sportier one that is why this gets it and these metal paddle shifters as well. Anyway, so yeah, these buttons are uh, some of them are also touch sensitive and you can also make changes to this layout. Of course, this is not a touch panel, but you can make changes to this layout. So this was the minimalist layout that we were on so essentially you get a speedometer and you get a clock and that shows you the EQ charge because this has the mild hybrid and then you can also select different colors for it right here so let's just leave it at that for now let's select the next one that is sport this should give you a better view so the idling rpm at on a cold start was 850 and now it's down to 750 very relaxed engine you know you can't even tell that this engine is running and it's a diesel right so it'll show you what is the power that is being sent to the wheels what's the kind of torque that is being sent to the wheels so this will only work when you're on the go of course the next one is the classic layout speedometer tachometer uh what is that oh that is giving me the real time fuel economy and it's also going to give me the other telltale uh warnings that are required next is the navigation screen so now you can have a full screen navigation right here but this is uh, not going to be the navigation that's running off your smartphone integration this is the inbuilt navigation assistance so whatever assistance features are on it will show you uh you know uh, it will tell you about it right here on the screen it will show you the lane departure warnings etc 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 does this car get it I'm not sure. I'm not sure yet. This is the first time I'm getting into this car. 
and this is the service so if the tire pressure warning comes up or any other warnings are coming up you know all that information is right here right for example at blue it's giving you the range 7900 kilometers service in the next one year because brand new car engine oil level coolant temperature etc so all of this is available right here you get a very easy readout for all the four tires as well so if the tpms throws up any error you will immediately know uh, which wheel is losing pressure it's also giving you the temperature you can see that 20 26 17 that's a cool feature i think this is the first time i'm seeing that yeah this is actually the first time i'm seeing that interesting then so yeah that's what it is and i'm going to leave it on the classic setting for now the gear selector in mercedes-benz style is right here it's a stock right here these are your wiper uh, switches and also the indicator switches but yeah i just hope i don't end up you know sort of turning this while using oh yeah it happens so while turning the indicators you might just end up using the wiper as well anyway so uh in terms of the upholstery i'm going to go back to the white screen uh angle in terms of the upholstery this this uh, particular c300 d spec in this black and brown uh, upholstery you can have an all black upholstery as well if you want and on the c200 petrol or the c220 you can have an all brown an all black or a beige almost like an off-white uh that kind of a combo uh, if you need so yeah that's the upholstery you will see this door handle has that floating effect uh there is uh you know these uh, door pads will hold a one liter bottle uh that's what you will get here and you will also see that the pedals are metal lined and then there is this metal lining even on all the switches all the ac vents it's got that click to it as well you can hear that so yes that metal lining is all there and that just elevates the premium feel of the cabin that is why luxury cars do that and let me just quickly show you the rear seat as well that's the rear seat i don't have the numbers handy with me but uh, the car's longer the wheelbase is longer and that is why you get extra knee room plus they've scooped out these seats so you get that extra knee room headroom is slightly better than the outgoing car you get a panoramic sunroof as well and uh, at the rear you get three headrests but that seat the center seat it's a bit of a perch so you also get that tunnel uh, the transmission tunnel right there so the center seat i think you will probably have to convince your kid to sit there you still don't get a three zone climate control you do get two ac vents at the rear and that looks like a scary face look at that anyway you get isofix style seat mounts at the rear and they have these rubber covers oh yeah so you just press them in and you can just fix your seat right here and then just pull them out again these are simply rubber covers so you don't have to worry about losing these covers every now and then you get mechanically adjusted window blinds manually adjusted window blinds i already showed you the boot you get this black lining right here not too much chrome as the panoramic roof that I was talking about and uh, let me now move back show you the side profile of the car that's the side profile of the car this is the C300 like I was telling you and since we have access let me quickly show you the C200 that was the change in the grill that I was talking about that's the headlight I was talking about LED headlamps but you get that chrome so this is the only thing that lights up the 17 inch wheels that i was talking about different design of course no change to the tail no change to the tail lights but slightly different bumper design yeah fake vents so yeah that's that and the all brown upholstery that i was talking about is right here this is the all brown upholstery in the c200 and i think there is another car which has the all white upholstery as well there you can see it right there that's the all white upholstery anyway don't want to barge in oh sorry let's also take a look at that But I'm just opening the door for one second. 
thanks for being accommodating and yeah that is the yacht finish that i was talking about the wood with the aluminium lining and the conventional looking steering wheel let me show it to you from the other side there you go these again are capacitive buttons but the steering layout is different you don't get those two horizontal spokes but that's the beige upholstery so this blue color that you see it's not a black this blue color that you see the white and this mojave silver are the only three colors in which you can buy the c300 so the white mojave silver and that blue and the c200 or the c220d can be bought in these three colors as well as three other colors gray scales a gray a silver and a lighter silver if i'm not wrong so yeah that's the color options for the car if you have any further questions about this car do let me know in the comment section below and either bert or i will answer them personally and hopefully most of them will be answered in the review itself so please do stay tuned to overdrive for the review if you haven't subscribed to our channel please consider subscribing please consider giving us a like at the end of it please share this video with your friends and family as well that's the w206 c class for you that's bert doing his bit and this review will be up very soon this video however that he's shooting is going up on our social media so if you don't follow our social media yet please do so now it's od mag on instagram od mag on youtube as well thank you so much for watching mm.